All right. Good day, everyone. Good day, everyone. Uh, we are live at the Multi Conference so Global 2022. And um, today we want to welcome everyone to our session. Uh, it's going to promise to be a very great session and insightful one uh, because we have none but the best um, here to deliver uh, this particular um, topic. So today we'll have uh, Toby, um, who's part of the Monty Group, uh, that will be taking us on a topic uh, uh, with regards to starting a Monty uh, Meetup community. Uh, so um, we'll be um, providing us with insights, um, guides, strategies of how, um, the, from experience, um, that he has handled um, these um, communities um, in, in a while now. Okay, so without um, holding more brief um i want to hand over the session to um our speaker toby ulua toby um, toby you're welcome you can uh, have the floor please thank you so much Jukes. um it's been nice again to be part of the motic uh, conference global 2022 and um i'll be talking today as you this as you mentioned on starting a multi community um, it up. So, but before I go on, just quickly, I would like to share my slide. Okay. All right. So. Just a moment, please. Okay, all right. Can you see my slide? Can you see my slide? Jukes? All right, okay, Jukes is not here. Okay, if you can see my slide, you can just give me a thumbs up so I can be sure that I'm. Um, you see my slide, all right. So um, before I go on, I would like to quickly um, inform you and um, do a brief introduction about myself. So I'm a digital marketer by profession and um, I currently work for a company where I work as a marketing expert. I'm also an open source contributor. I like to contribute to open source projects and um, one of them is Mautic. Uh, I get to know about Mautic in year 2020 or 29, late 2019. And then since then, I've tried as much as possible to um, be part of the community, which I am currently leading the team for the marketing team. All right. I also like to build communities. So I'm not just Mautic, but I also try to build communities for Google here in Nigeria. So I'm the community the lead for the Google Business Group in Nigeria. And I'm also, I'm an open source technology enthusiast. I'm not a developer, so I, but I get as much as possible to learn as much as I could that can help me to be able to learn all these technologies, especially in the open source. Okay, so today, what we'll be discussing about, we'll be looking at why do you need to start a multi-community, and then we'll go on to talk about, do you do online or offline meetups? Then we we'll also go on to discuss about preparing and also hosting your first meetup. Okay, so let me begin by this question. Which, and by this quote from James Keller, who says, a candle loses nothing by lightning another candle. Okay, so um, that was basically um, what it means when you help other, people's to, other people to grow. So there's nothing you lose, but instead you also gain and you get other people's candle to light where you also have a bigger, um, a more light room. So quickly, I would like to have an idea about how many of us here is um, 
developer or a non-developer and let's see so i would like to quickly access a question so um do you mind sharing with me if you are a developer or a non-developer so that i can have an idea about the audience i'm talking to today okay Oh, all right. So I, I guess, okay, great. So um, let's move on. So um, quickly, let me move on to sharing the presentation. All right, so why do you need to start a Mautic community? Okay, so um, for you to do something, there must actually be a reason why you want to do that. Okay, so let's quickly look at why. The why here is, um, you don't need to be a developer to contribute. So um, non-developers are welcome to contribute. And one way a non-developer can be able to contribute is by hosting a multi-meetup, starting a community within your country, your locality, your region. That is one way you can be part of multi um, by contributing to multi. Another thing you can also do is to promote multi. So this is a free open source um, software of which needs more people to know about it, more people to use it, and more people to also be able to contribute. When you host a community, it means that you are trying to promote multi in the sense that you also get more people to know about the multi project. You also get people to participate in the project by contributing and giving back to the community, which is very, very important. Another thing that also helps you to do that you need to know why you need to contribute is that um, it gives you opportunity to meet industry experts. So when you approach people to come speak at the end of the meetup, it means it, it gives you the opportunity to interact with them. It gives you the opportunity to network with them. Even after the meetup has been held, you can easily build a relationship with them and then they might help you to assist you and also to help you to maybe solve any challenge or any pressing questions that you might have all right so you are also increasing your knowledge so nobody knows everything about everything so you also get to learn as you host these meetups you get to look at what your community needs to know what questions do they ask often and then you want to build a community you want to come up with a meetup and then look for an industry expert and then be able to talk about them okay so now the question is do i do online or offline let me just share a quick um background about the multic meetup lagos okay so when we started the multic meetup lagos it was um it was in year 2020 so we plan to start it in may i guess may or so and then we started the planning since around february scheduling may that is going to be our first in-person meetup but then covid 19 struck and the venue sent an email that they are sorry they won't be able to accommodate us anymore because of the COVID-19 and then it was at the stage whereby do we stop this or do we move it to online and um, we moved it to online and uh, trust me since then it's really been it's really been a lot of experience actually to be able to move the community from being an off uh, instead of being a physical event where you have in person to online and so many things have been learned while doing this. Um, you can look through the multi-2020 global conference on our YouTube channel. You'll be able to find the presentation I gave in that particular conference about how we started the multi meetup legal. So I don't have to repeat everything I've mentioned here again. But then, recently, we've been thinking about going offline. Offline brings about mutual um, kind of, um, it brings about a way of networking, bonding with humans together. So offline 
is a good to go, which is what we are trying to explore now. But there's no specific answer to either be online or offline. So online, if that is what works for you, if COVID-19 is still an issue in your country, then maybe go for online. But if people gathers and you think you have the resources, the venue, maybe you can get a free venue from one of the local businesses or maybe from one of the technology startups that can offer their space, fine, we can be able to use that and then start an online, uh, offline uh, community. And then also, you need to make sure that you need to look for speakers that might be within your country, except you want them to connect remotely, okay? If not, if you have speakers, and if you can't speak on a topic yet, maybe you might want to consider going for online meetups. Okay, so let's move to the third part of this presentation, which is preparing and hosting your first meetup. So I'll be taking this in five different steps, what you need to know and um, about hosting your first meetup. Okay, the first thing you want to do is for you to have a team. Okay, when I say a team, it doesn't have to be maybe five people or ten people. Maybe just one other person joining you, that would be fine. So at least two people makes a team, the more the better. Okay, why you need to have a team is because um, as a team, it's easy for you to be able to divide the task. It's easy for you to be able to manage things so that you don't get too overloaded with one. And then as the meetups, um, as the meetup progresses, you can be able to request for more volunteers who will be willing to join and assist you in other things. And then as time goes on, you can be able to reduce the number of um, loads of tasks that you take as you go on. Then another thing that you want to do is that you want to go through the MOTIC community guidance I will share the link after this presentation in the chat box in the uh, chat box you can go through it learn about what it takes to start a multi community so you want to make sure that um, you want to make sure that you understand it and you want to also make sure that you do what is appropriate and what the multi community is expected of you and then um, once you've been able to do that then you want to now go on to contact the multi community team so you can contact the community channel ak is currently the um, team lead for that channel for the team so the multi community you want to talk about them so that they can integrate you into the multi community and then they can be able to give you access to the multi pro account so meetup pro account sorry so the meetup.com pro account so that you can have your account you can have your meetup listed in that um on that platform okay and then you can easily create your next event and then also it will be easily for us to feature it on the marketing side in the multi newsletter monthly monthly newsletter okay all right so um once you've been able to get that set up, then what you want to start doing is for you to now start looking for speakers. Okay, if you can speak about Motic, that is fine. But if not, then you want to find a speaker that will be able to speak on a particular topic. Then you want to have a topic. Then you want to build up your agenda for that meetup. So I mentioned something about the agenda in the presentation I did in year 2020 on starting meetup leaders. Then you want to do your design. So we use Canva. So you want to use, you want to quickly design something. And you want to make sure when you design, you want to follow the multi brand guidelines, the color codes, the logo. You want to make sure that everything follows the community brand designs. And then once you have all of this set up, then you want to be able to start promoting your meetup. So um, once you start promoting, you can reach out to the marketing team. They can help you to also share on the official social channels for Maltic. And then also, they can also help you to include it in the newsletter, like I mentioned earlier. Then what's next for you is to already then post your first meetup. Okay, so first meetup can be a bit challenging if you've not done this before. But trust me, it's, it's just as easy as these five steps. 
if you can follow it. But if you need help, feel free to always give a shout out in the um, community team, or you can reach out to me directly on Slack, and um, I'll be able to assist you. Okay, so that is just basically um, how you can be able to start a multi community. Um, and then in case you need to reach me on my social media handles, so you can just reach me on at Topso, T O B S O. Thank you so much. I hope this short presentation was helpful for you and uh, you will be able to learn one or two things on this today. Okay, so I'll wait your questions if you have any questions. Wow, that, that was quite um, um, interesting uh, and uh, quite direct to the point. Um, thanks, Toby, for uh, sharing with us um, and then um, taking us um, in your um, experience alongside uh, with um, your experiences, challenges, and how we can um, start up uh, meet up communities um, and also um, do well um, with regards to that. We really appreciate um, this session. And um, I, I think um, I want to uh, wait for questions, uh, And um, but while we're waiting for questions uh, from our audience, um, I think um, you, you guys should know that uh, Toby, one of the things that skipped earlier is um, is quite as he mentioned, um, and we can we can we can see that from the conversation is that he's um, a digital uh, marketing expert, and um, he, he he derives joy training people alongside his career, uh, business owners, uh, also other colleagues in digital marketing and um or to sustain to build and sustain their online experiences so and toby has been doing this for a long time now have um been in different communities and um, has um, a lot to um to attach to um, his um, cv he has quite a long list of it um but um I, I want to while we're waiting for these questions um toby i want to ask um, um do you really need to be very technical savvy um, um or have technical knowledge of motic um to host a community um do you how how do you how will you um advise some business um more business minded people can we can can we start a community if we are just more business inclined or do we need to understand um the codes and all that of the multi of multi solution to be able to host a community Okay, all right. So um, I'm going to use myself as an example. When I first started out hosting multi communities, I'm just this kind of a person that likes to build communities. That is the reason why I started the hosting community. I know nothing about multi. Actually, I know nothing. So I, I get to actually learn more about multi as I get to go through the forum, read people's um, read post for the forums, people asking questions and you get them to learn about it. And then I then go ahead to start looking at people that are asking these questions. So I'm trying to answer two questions. Um, there's a question from Roots. I'm seeing the question and answer. So I'm trying to match it together with this. So what, what I do was that I, I make right. sure I try to approach people who knows about this and then try to tell them, hey, we have a meetup in Lagos. And we like to come speak on this topic. As time goes on, I discover that our timing may not work for them. So I have to now have to make sure I adjust our meetup based on their time. As I speak to you this morning, I'm still talking to a particular um, speaker who is who presented yesterday. And uh, although I sent him a mail, a mail, a message on that forum recently earlier this week, asking him to come speak, and he has agreed to speak. So. Speaking doesn't have to be, you don't have to be technically inclined. You don't need to be a developer, but just make sure you have interest, you are willing to learn because as time goes on, community members will be reaching out to you for specific questions and you want to make sure that you are able to find answers for them. So you want to be able to also build up your network to be able to know how to quickly reach out to maybe experts that might be able to assist if you don't have the direct answers to that. I think I've done that in the past and Ruth has been very helpful. Um, Joseph Kayla have also been very helpful too. So once I get questions like that, I just quickly go to the inbox and say, hey, I have these questions, can you assist? 
and most times they are always there to assist me okay so finding a speaker just look at somebody who has been engaging more on the forum look at somebody who has been maybe writing about multic or build project around multic it doesn't have to be in the forum it can be outside of the multic forum or community reach out to them and say hey would you like to come and talk to us about this particular thing you are building on multic it has been helpful for you and trust me most of them are always willing to assist to come speak Well, thank you very much for that uh, that um, explanation and detailed run through on how um, we can we can also um, try to uh, start um, the the community community meetup community. Okay, so second question I want to ask. I think you've answered root question. Uh, the second question I want to ask as well is that um, uh, so what, what are your recommendations with regards to physical meetups? So um, we know you've, you've you've provided a lot of information for us. Uh, even during the course of your um, uh, your session, but um, what what would you recommend? Or what how do we um, prepare and um, align for physical meetup? So for physical meetup, you want to make sure you have a venue. It's very important to physical meetup. Venue is very important, and you want to try to get as much as possible a free venue. Okay, because it's a free event and it's being hosted by a free community. So there's no budget for that. So you want to make sure you get a free venue. And then you want to try as possible to see if you can get local sponsors. If you can get local sponsors, that would be great. Um, I know Nigerian meetups, especially technology meetups, have been able to attend so many. They do expect you to provide jello fries at the end of it, actually. So, although you may not be able to do that, but if you have sponsors that can be able to enter, that can be able to provide for entertainment and refreshment, that would be fine. But if not, but I think you need majorly is the sponsors. You need to get a free venue, and I think there are a couple of venues. If Lagos, maybe talk to one of the startup businesses in Lagos, especially Yapa, which is the technology community, or Mansi. If they can be able to offer their spaces i've done that in the past and um uh, although i've not done that recently but i think it's possible to be able to get communities from uh, get people from around the yaba community to get a space maybe you might need to fill their chain if there's no light so sorry about the situation i'm talking about nigeria but it might not be in other countries just like that so um physical meetups are uh, are really a great way for people to connect and then possibly if you get maybe swags or these community stickers and stuff, you can also share them with the community at the event too. All right, Chips. All right. Wow. Wow. That was that was insightful. Um I think let me check. I don't think we're getting more questions. I think um, um that's that this this is quite an enlightening session. And um, we can actually move from here um, to start our, our communities and to start the engagement, you know, to start um, um, gathering people to discuss uh, with regards to uh, either Motic, or we can even use this um, insight that you've just shared with us and in our businesses and in, in other conversations that um, are required of us. So thank you very much, uh, Toby. We really appreciate this session. Uh, we want you to keep sending us those invites, and um, also, um, um, I don't know if you can drop your your uh, your social media handles uh, for some people that might be interested as well, uh, so that um, we can link up and uh, continue the conversation and engagement. Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Thank you so much, Jukes. And also, please feel free to give your to 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 vote in the poll. How confident are you to start a new meetup? Are you confident? Are you still thinking about it? Or are you not interested? All right, my social handle is T-O-B-S-O-W-O at gmail.com. T-O-B-S-O-W-O at gmail.com. So you can reach me on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, using that handle. Thank you so much, everybody. And um, it was really a nice and inspiring session. See you all later in the conference. Bye.